Hey guys, so I drew a few drawings when I went to Kansas City to the One Thing conference, the One Thing Reset conference, and I drew quite a bit. Um, you could say it's a lot, depending on who you are. As an artist, I always draw really fast, so it's not that much for me. So actually, I drew this one the first day that I went there, and it was just like a holy roar. There's a song by Chris Tomlin that they were playing. Um, it was called A Holy Roar. And I just wanted to draw like this lion, kind of like a tattoo-ish type of deal uh, on top of like, it's kind of like this essence deal on top of a fist that just says roar. And it's kind of like power. It's kind of like we're for God and stuff like that. So that's what I did. And confession time, I actually was planning on drawing every single day. It was like four or five days. And I was actually, it was like four days of the conference. And I was actually going to draw for those four days. But what happened was I put them in a separate bag. So I put them in the, in the smallest tote bag that could fit my binder. And I wanted to bring it every single day, every single conference session. And actually, I became really lazy. And to be honest, I was like, this is so much stuff to bring back and forth. And I didn't think we were going to be saving seats because technically you're not supposed to be saving seats in the conference, especially when they're talking about like this one, one big family thing. And then everyone's like rushing to get seats early in the morning, like, some people from my church lined up early in the morning to go and run for seats and stuff like that. And it was kind of ridiculous, to be honest. That's why I didn't go and do that. But in the end, they saved seats for us. And um, basically what happened is because of that, um, I was like, oh, I'm not going to bring my drawings around. I'm not going to leave my drawings on the seat because the drawings are kind of important to me. So I don't want anyone like to misplace them by accident. So I was like, oh, you know what? I, I won't really draw that much. So this was the first day. And then the rest I drew on the last day, which is actually New Year's Day. Um, so it was kind of funny. I was just like, because... <coughs> so the morning was like a regular session where they did worship and then they talked a lot. And then actually the second session was just a purely worship section session, which was so great. Like because it was purely just worship, I was able to draw like I got into this mood of drawing. And like in the beginning, I was standing in the front, but my legs felt really sore. So I felt like I had to go back to my seat because my legs were just uncomfortable. And I'm not going to sit down on the floor because my legs were hurting when I bent so I really didn't want to do that so I went back to my seat and then I started drawing so this one is actually um passion for God it's kind of like this fiery passion so there's like this fiery fiery tattoo on the hand and this kind of is like some veil cloth that's connected to a bracelet and a ring and then there's so many rings here because we're married to God we're his bride and then there's a heart behind here with like a crest and stuff. And then there's a rose and then there's a crown behind the rose and a cross and then a giant angel wing. And I just felt like this fiery passion for God, like your love for God. And that's basically what this drawing represents. <clears throat> and I was just thinking I should kind of explain these before I go on into other videos to outline but my other videos will be about outlining these and coloring these so this one it's kind of hard to see because these are all sketches basically but there's a fire there's a sail and there's a crown on a heart and these are actually veins and anchor in the waves so there's a song called let the um, there's a song called The King of My Heart, and it basically sings of Jesus. And it's like, let the king of, the, of my heart be the anchor in the waves, be my anchor in the waves, the wind in my sail, um, and the fire 
in my veins and basically that's why I drew all of this and it's one whole verse that I drew it on I think it's like a second verse or something and I drew it on based on that song and we were just singing that song and I was like so touched at the moment and it's like I need to draw something that represents this so I thought about drawing this heart and this heart represents us and Jesus is the God is the king of our heart so I put a crown on our heart and then I drew all of this stuff and basically this is what Jesus is to us so yeah this this drawing was like one of my favorite drawings and then this other drawing I kind of was just randomly drawing but it at first I was gonna do like feathers and wings but then I decided to draw a lion because we were singing like how God is a lion and everything so I did that yeah, this one has like the least explanation because it was so simple. And then this one is actually, um, I actually forgot to draw this drawing when I went back to my seat, but it was like the first song we were singing. And it says, and it's called What a Beautiful Name It Is. And basically it sings about how the name of Jesus is a, such a beautiful name and, um, and a powerful name. And there was, there's a, um, I believe it's in the, in the bridge of the song, but it basically says the veil tore before you. So I drew like a torn veil and then I drew a feather, just beautiful with like Jesus. So yeah, so I was just like so moved at that moment too. So I really, I got this vision to draw like a veil in front of the name Jesus so I wanted to do that the feather was kind of something that I just added for elegance for like no really reason but yeah <clears throat> and this one is kind of just us reaching to God our hand is reaching to heaven and it's like this sunrise or sunset type of deal and there's like a pathway to just riding off into the sunset and then there's like clouds and at first I was like how am I gonna make it a sunset because I'm terrible at drawing like these types of things and I was like oh you know I'll just put some clouds and actually look nice and then I put a cross right there and it's kind of like us reaching to God like just us reaching to him we're like yes we want to be with you and so yeah that's basically it and those are all my five drawings that I drew so my next video definitely will be an outlining drawing an outlining video of this one because I really wanted to do it but then when I got home it's been a week since we've been home so yeah I'm just adjusting and stuff and also I have work every day this week so I'm just like when can I draw when can I draw and still like when can I do videos and stuff so I've been like trying to film videos like every now and then so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share check down in the description box below these are actually all the sketches of these are posted on my social media so you can go like and follow those and see those with like better pictures of them of course um they are hard to see because they're sketches, but overall I did post them all on all my social media so you can go check that out. And they're absolutely really, like, they turned out really beautiful and definitely, I have to say, like, me just worshipping and singing songs with to God while drawing these actually, like, it's so much inspiration compared to, like, other things that I do. So, yeah, but... Yeah, there's so many things that I want to do. It's just hard to pinpoint what, what's, like, most important to me. Like, I do want to do parody art, but I haven't... I'm not great at par. Like, there's a part of me that's like, gets bored when I do parody art, but I really want to. So, probably I will try to do some, like, after I finish these. Yeah, there's just so many things I want to do. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.